What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dearis here. We are back here again for another street photography video number three. This time, though, I'm also going to be with somebody else here, another Denver photographer, YouTuber. So we're going to be collabing today. We're going to meet up at Union Station, I believe. Um, and he's basically just going to kind of like, I guess, show me some cool spots because he's been living here way longer than I have. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to actually seeing more of the city. Um, like I said in my other video, I was kind of surprised about the photography when we were in Rhino. Um, and, and a little bit, we was on 16th Street Mall towards the end. But, um, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can check it here or here. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's going to be somewhere. It might be in front of my face. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to stop talking, guys. Let's get on with it. See y'all. All right, y'all. I think that's him right here. Yo, Theo, right? All right, Dierris, man. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, dude. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just recording right now. <laughs> yeah. Good at it. What's up? I appreciate yeah. it. How's it going? Are you trying to like eventually get like behind the scenes and when you're shooting like portraits and stuff, or like? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that is that is one thing I do already have planned. Okay. So like how I have these these vlogs for the street photography, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the same thing for the portraits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whenever I have my next portrait shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and do like, you know, put a behind the scenes vlog yeah. thing like that. I like it. I was just saying like the big thing that holds me back from like, from, like doing anything really is just not knowing, uh, knowing what I'm doing or, right. or how to do it. And yeah. A lot of people will say like, oh, you just gotta do it and figure it out as you go. And that's, I, I agree with that, but mm -hmm. I don't like it, I guess. So yeah. I like to do my research and, and, and you know what I'm doing before, before I do it. And I, that holds me back so much because like when it comes to like, trying to do some freelance work like I want to know how to talk to them I want to know what to say I want to know what I'm doing for them mm -hmm. long before I go to them so okay and that's just what I'm doing my homework now that's just me like uh, just kind of studying I guess essentially and just so I know what I'm doing so I have all this knowledge so when I when I do have the opportunity I can just do it and then hopefully that that, that, that experience is good for them so they'll come back to, me to get to work or, yeah or, uh, you know, refer me to somebody else but that's just that's just how my brain works. I don't know. I, I, I hate it, but <laughs> I kind of like it at the same time. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah. Well, uh, want to start shooting? I guess. Yeah, let's get out there. All right. photo shoot here. Is there somewhere else you want to go? Yeah, we'll hit up kind of by Pepsi Center. Like, I was telling him there's a lot of older buildings out there. Okay. Um, like the brick style buildings. Yeah. I'm hoping to hit that around sunset. Okay. Sunset's going to kind of light them up. And get them in the colors looking real good. So. All right, cool. Let's do that. Let's do it. See ya. See ya. Like I was saying in the previous video, um, like with street photography, sometimes you just kind of got to like wait for the moment. And, um, you know, right now, I mean, we've only been kind of walking for like a couple moments, like a couple minutes, I guess. Let's see, there they go, they're barking. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um, oh wow, there's a photo shoot right here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I guess what I was trying to say is that um, sometimes it can be really hard to find shots, but you just gotta keep walking and keep going with the flow. And Maybe eventually you get something, some days you may not. So sometimes you might come out to the city and then you may not come home with any good shots. Um, so it all depends. We'll see what we can get today. Well, this would be nice right here. Like if, if you get somebody and like coming through. All right, y'all, we might, we might have found a good spot here. So we might have to be patient on this one here because the street's not that busy. But um, if you see here, I like this here. Get somebody walking through these bars. Like, what's a good shot for you? Like, what do you think? 
like a, like a banger shot in my sweep soccer clip. A what banger shot. Like? A banger shot. Um, I guess kind of like, so earlier we were talking about uh, Evan Reth, who's this other uh, YouTuber. He's a street photographer based in Atlanta. Um, I like to do shots where I kind of have a subject and it's surrounded by the environment and have that tell like a specific story. Um, you know, whether it's like moody or, um, I don't know, something mysterious. Those are the type of shots like I like to take. Like, yeah, something dramatic and have people thinking like, oh, like what was going on in that, you know, that situation. Man, today's been kind of rough, right? <laughs> I, thought, I thought it'd be busier. Yeah. But hey, man, that's the fun, though. We got to come out here regardless, you know? All right. I'm taking a little break here. Talk to you guys. Um, yeah, man. Um, I, I think I got a couple of shots. I think I got, like, maybe two or three. We'll see. And sometimes, like, when you're out and about shooting, you may not like the photo at first, but then when you go home, put it on your computer, and you start editing, then it's like there's like some new life that breathes uh, from that image. Um, so you never know. Right now, I think I have two good shots, but maybe I might have five when I get to editing. All right, guys, we are back. We are done. Um, we have been shooting out here for a minute, uh, trying to find like that perfect shot. But um, I don't know if we found that perfect shot. At least I don't think I found one. Did you? Like... Um, I mean, I would say it's definitely perfect. Uh, probably yeah. my favorite shot of the day was that we were on that bridge and I was looking over uh, on the sidewalk. I got to people walking uh, under me, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember that one. That I was shooting through some trees. I kind of got them framed up. Kind of okay. Yeah, I remember trees. that one. That was probably one of my favorite shots. Nice. Okay. All right. So that was your favorite shot for today. Um, for me, <laughs> I'm not really too sure what my favorite shot was. Um, but I guess the one that comes to mind to me is there was the uh, the the walking sign or whatever you call it. Ooh. No, the, the stop sign, but it's the walk. It was the, it was the one with the old guy, um, oh, with okay, the hat. Yeah, yeah. The, the stoplight. The stoplight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it, it had the the walking man on there, and he was underneath it. Uh, I don't know what it is. I guess I have something for old guys in the middle of the pictures, like the last one. Um, but I think that's my favorite one. If not, then you'll see a different picture. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go with that one for today. But um, solid. Yeah. But other than that, like like I said, this happens, man. Street photography is like. Sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you get bad ones, and then sometimes you get nothing. But uh, today, it was still a productive day, and um, I'm glad to uh, be here with another fellow creator. Make sure to check out his YouTube uh, page, look at his videos, you know, comment below, subscribe if you like his content. Uh, he's another Denver base here, so uh, yeah, so definitely check appreciate him out. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right, guys, well, that's it for today. Um, so with that, guys, as always, Keep the dream alive. Peace. He's B-rolling for his YouTube page. Look at him. You see it? Look, he doesn't even think that we're looking at him. See, his setup is so much better than mine. I had to use my hands. He got a freaking tripod. He got a mic, you know? All right, I'm gonna start ranting.